Happy fans, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Shay's awesome vlog. If you curious what I'm actually doing today, I want to talk to all of you about some safety in mind if you're going to build anything out of a metal ammo can, thus like this one, should I say. And we're going to talk about some different fuses, should I say, in this can, should I say. It's pretty nice. It's a very nice looking design should i say i think it's pretty neat and it's unique in its own kind of way but we have a couple of different fuses inside the ammo cans box we have an inline fuse is a 10 amp fuse and we also have a 5 amp fuses for the four different circuits this unit actually has itself should i say but we're going to take a look at the inside of it and kind of show you what it looks like it does have a rechargeable lithium-ion battery it's only a 12 volt battery rated at uh 10 amps should i say that's the max of the battery if i overload anything on this one of the fuses should pop should I say that's basically what the old design to do is protecting the wiring in the circuits you are designing this device to do. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. It's going to be awesome. We're talking about some safety in mind when you are designing to build something like this out of a steel ammo can itself. Should I say this is not a plastic ammo can. This is a metal one, should I say. But here is the lithium ion rechargeable battery, should I say. It's a 12 volt, 10 amp itself. But if you can of notice, I do have a inline fuse, should I say. It is a 10 amp max fuse for everything for the system itself. But I also do have a traditional fuse block for all the different circuits this unit does have inside of it should i say and i do also have a ground block should i say but i do have room to put a second battery if i choose to but i'm not going to do that i think this small battery will be fine should i say but if you can notice there is my two usbs with the uh switch should i say and on this side we do have the two led lights controlled by a single one and off switch and a charging port basically to charge the rechargeable battery inside and also on this side we also have a switch a 12 volt cigarette outlet and a voltage and percentage meter should i say on that one side and basically it looks pretty well made but just make sure if you're going to build something, please be safe to build it the right way. DC itself is completely different than AC completely, should I say. But that's the reason why when I am building these small battery backup systems and the making them portable, should I say, is to have safety in mind with the box itself, with having the right type of gauge while with the right type of fuses, should I say. I'm using a 10 amp fuse as a master fuse for the whole tile system. And also for the four circuits I have, I have the LED lights, uh, the charger, and also the uh, USBs and the cigarette outlet on five amp fuses because that was best for the wire itself. Now. Can you use a 20 amp uh, fuse? You could, but I don't think that's a good ideal, definitely for this small box. I think you can use a little bit of a small fuse with the gauge wire you're trying to use. It's my first time building something out of an ammo can. I have built uh, most things out of a battery box and stuff like that that's basically how i try to figure it out and just try to match the wire to what fuse you are trying to use the proper way for the dc box itself should i say but all right if you guys enjoy the channel please hit that subscribe button leave an awesome comment down below please like please show peace out we'll hopefully see you in the future vlog and thank you so much for watching and have 
a wonderful day. We'll catch you in the next one.